I'll need to, with this crosswind, I'll be pulling it back pretty good on landing, okay? okay. And then full forward stick. Okay. When the stick's full forward, the tailwheel's mechanically removed from all the mechanisms, so we can basically check the rudder travel without um, spinning the tailwheel around. Now, if the stick is anywhere but full forward, for the most part, when you move the rudder pedals, it's actually steering the tailwheel also. It's kind of the way that works. Then one quick reminder again, you're going to keep your heels on the floor and your toes on the bottom of the pedals to stay away from those brakes. So we're going to bring the flap handle up. We've got ram air controlled air selected for the air intake. For takeoff, the rudder is at 6 degrees right, the ailerons are neutral, and the elevator is neutral. My landing gear handle is down in the detent. I've got three green. you got three green back there above your left knee? I do. Cool. Coolant door is coming to automatic, so it's going to drive all the way shut. Mixture is idle, cut off, throttle is cracked, pops forward, mags are off. Fuel computers reset. Listen to the radio one and two or transmitting on two. Oil door is going to automatic. Each wing tank has its own electric boost pump to back up the engine driven boost pump. So we're going to go to the right boost pump. If you look at that fuel gauge above your right knee, you see it's about 12. So that's good. We're actually going to take off on the left tank. So left tank selected, detent triangle, pressure's good. Mechanical gauges in the floor, so 90 gallons left side cap's on no venting. 90 gallons right side cap is on no venting. Clock is reset, compass is correct, it's a cold engine, so we'll prime it. And let's see, look at that parking brake off. Hydraulics are engaged, right side of the panel looks good. And exterior, interior lights are off, alternator, pitot, heat avionics, and all my circuit breakers are in. I'm going to go ahead and prime her, she's got an electric primer. If you're ready, we're going to close the canopy halfway, then right after that, we're going to start it up. Okay, I'm ready. The only question I have is, I only have one fuel gauge. You said there's two of them? But you don't have any fuel gauges back there. You've got a light on right now showing you that the I've got the left tank selected. Is that what you're... Yeah, I can see that, but I thought when it's this fuel thing, it says 15, it looks like 15 inches out there or whatever. There's a gauge with two oil things. It's uh, right next to the... Uh, right, so that's, that's fuel pressure. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fuel pressure. It's got the three gates. Oil, temp, oil pressure, and fuel pressure right there. Okay. Canopy's coming halfway closed. Starter guard's down, oil pressure's coming up. Let's see if we'll get the uh, alternator on, avionics masters on, nav lights on. She hasn't flown in a little while. Two four as well. Carburetor's dry. Well, so thank you. That was a 100 broken. Temperature 100, two point one four. Altimeter 3001. GPS approaching use landing party runway 33. Three. Advise you have Victor. Victor. Ready to taxi up. We are at Odyssey. The mirror put up face Victor 1356 to the weather wind 31010. Visibility 10. Ceiling 2100 broken. Temperature 100 2.14. Altimeter 3001. GPS approaching use landing party runway 33. Advise you have Victor. How you doing back there, George? Doing perfect. Mustang 6 check. Yeah. Victor's current, runway 33, winds are 310 at 10, altimeter 3001. Uh, Pitch VFR, push ground.
morning ground, Mustang 06 with Mustang 3, flight of 2, Stallion Victor, VFR Southwest. Hold short of 3 3, Charlie. My face, there's a clutch here. Quick brake check right here. Pilatus 9, Tango Sierra, cross 3 3 on Tanks Away Bravo, then right on Alpha, cross 2 4. Okay, cross 3 3 on Bravo, and then uh, 2 4 on Alpha, not Tanks Sierra. Roger. Here's the hero cam, George. Big smile. We're going to go fly Mustang. Alright, needle left ball right. This has got a slaved HSI in the front, it's turning left. Altimeters within 75. Needle right, ball left, HSI right. Attitude platform showing correct. Mustang 6 flight cross runway 33, turn right and open. Mustang 6 flight 2 cross 33, Charlie right turn and up. Okay, clear left, clear right, we're clear to cross. Check the localizer for fun crossing the runway. Localizer checks good. So notice the stick is not all the way forward. So that means the tailwheel steering is engaged. So I'm doing all this with the tailwheel steering. Okay, it looks like it's more of a cross when it's 20 degrees up. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I agree with that. Mustang 6 flight cross runway 24. Mustang 6 flight 2 cross 24 now. Now, obviously I can't see forward at all, so you see this is why I'm S'ing back and forth. Yeah. Make sure my road path is clear. Now, I might see that Pilatus from his wing tips before I run into him. But if it was just a plain old Cessna, I wouldn't know who there would start chewing him up. We're cleared to cross, nobody left, nobody right. I'm going to let you taxi a little bit once we cross the runway up here. So notice I just put a few degrees of heading crossing angle in, kind of drift across the taxiway, look around. Okay. Then I bring it back, just so we gently drift to the other side. I can barely, oh, I can see it. Yeah, I'll take care of the clearing. You just give me a little bit of drift. I'll look around the nose. Okay, you can have the pedals. Let it drift to the right just a little bit. It's an awful lot. Start to come back left for me, nice and gentle. Bring it back to the right. You actually have to stop your turn a little bit. So just drift barely to the right. Okay. Let it drift left. Let it keep drifting left. Now you can come back to the right nice and easy. Get ready to bring some left pedal in to stop the turn. Now back to the left. A little bit of right pedal to hold this heading out. There you go. And just hold this heading, let it drift over. You just check left a few degrees now, just barely drift left. I can look around the nose. Then back to your right. Then back to the left, nice and gentle. Then to the right again, you got it. Well, I can see the pull out of so we won't hit it. Yeah, he's smart enough. Now you're doing the brakes, remember? Oh yeah, I'll do the brakes. Then back to the right. Okay, cool, I'll take it from here. Nice job, I have the aircraft. Okay. steering is engaged, we always brake evenly when we're doing that. But now for tighter turns, notice the stick is full forward now, so the tailwheel's castering. So now I'm actually steering with differential braking. It's a good way to get yourself in trouble in front of your friends if you're not to get the back end swinging too quick. Cool. Hey, we need to warm this old girl up a little more, so put your hand on the throttle again. But look at the RPM gauge. Bring the RPM up to 1,500 for me, 1,500. I've got the brakes. Cool, I'm going to close the canopy all the way. It's a little chilly. 
Yeah, we need to get the coolant up to 90. It's got about 10 degrees to go. The oil's already set. So while we're sitting here, we'll do our before takeoff checks. So flap handles up, they're visually verified up left and right. I'm locking my shoulder harnesses. Mixtures auto rich, coolant and oil doors are automatic. Tower frequencies in, transponder's already on. My boost pump switch is already on, but fuel pressure's up in the green from the engine driven pump. So I'm just gonna check the breaker. That's good. Left hand selected, D10 triangle. Check the fuel one more time. 90 gallons left side caps on the vent, my gun doors are down. 90 gallons right side caps on the vent, my gun doors are down. Clock is running, compass and the HSI match up, parking brakes off, hydraulics are engaged, right side of the panel looks good. We'll leave our strobe lights off, and all my circuit breakers are in. Now, we're going to cycle the propeller three times during the run-up. I'll do the first two, you get the third, all right? Okay. I've got the brakes and the stick. Go ahead and advance the engine RPM to 2300 with the throttle. Cool, I'll take control of the throttle from you. Here comes our propeller cycle. Cycle the propellers. And back forward. Beautiful. Here comes the magneto check. Left side only. Back to both. Now right side only. Cool. I'm going to throttle back and open the canopy up. we got a healthy airplane. Now watch, uh, watch the Owl's airplane there, as they throttle back, the coolant door will open. Ours is already opening. Y'all set back there, George? I am. Did they really shoot down three Nazi planes? Um, I think that, that gentleman did, not that airplane, but it's painted up after a guy that did. Oh, uh, okay. Morning Tower, Mustang 06, flight 2, ready on 33. Mustang 06, flight Kissimmee Tower, good morning. Runway 33, cleared for takeoff. There's helicopter traffic about a mile and a half to the northwest inbound for the max flight ramp at uh, 600 feet. Mustang 06, flight 2, cleared takeoff 33 at the left turn. We'll be looking for that helicopter. Kissimmee Tower, Skyhawk 55296. Skyhawk 55296, Tower. Kissimmee Tower, Skyhawk 55296. We're about seven and a half to the north of the field, requesting uh, set to go with the Okay, this is 3-3. We are clear for takeoff. Nobody left, nobody right. Skyhawk 296. Camera's forward. We're right down on runway 33. We're going to take the right side of the runway. Proceeding uh, for, touch, for right down on runway 33. For touch and goes, yes. Let them get a little closer and we're going to go. Clear to follow me through, okay? Okay, here we go.
drop the pedal so I can be the airplane, okay, buddy? Okay. They're gonna be really close. See you later, man.
try to keep her. It should stay about 180 knots all by itself. I'll help you out with the ground reference. There's a little more turn. We're going to reference the ground. I'll help you out. Right about here. We'll take her up to 8,500. Adjust your pitch attitude to hold about 100 feet. Remember, you can look at the drum to find the on the airspeed. Perfect. Take a peek at your wingtips. You'll notice that the left one needs to come up in the area. Right. 
Remember, I want 95% of your time outside. We're just coming inside the glance of the airspeed out there as well. Remember, when you're turning, when you're turning, we need to keep the front of the airplane in our focal vision. So it's okay to clear over there, but we got to not look too far inside the turn. You can notice how we're climbing? Okay, well, you can give you can land it at the altimeter every few seconds, okay? Okay. But watch that nose slide across the horizon. If you see it going up, you're probably climbing, right? Okay, then. Keep turning, we're going to go another 90 degrees to north. That's fine. Let's just keep her turning while we're doing that. Probably at 20 degrees of bank. Let's put some more bank in there. If you're comfortable with more bank, George, let's go ahead and do that. Now we're flying a fighter, we're not gonna break it. Just bring in that back pressure as a mark. I'll call your roll out, a little more turn. We're doing the ground reference, just not the directional gyro. Just roll out right here. You probably get, you might need a little more nose down trip. We gained about 10 knots from where we were earlier. So bring that left wing up for me, buddy. Bring that nose down a little bit. Watch 
that nose for strength moving up and down in relation to the horizon. Look at that long heat on the altimeter to confirm your suspicion. Good job. Keep turning. We're on north right now. We're going to go all the way to south. We'll put a little more bank in there, and a little more back pressure to make sure your altitude will turn faster. A little more back pressure, otherwise we're going to get a real quick heat set going. There's more bank equals more heat to make sure your altitude. Yeah, I'm going to help you. You're putting heat pulling. You're putting in the aileron by accident. Keep turning though, this is the key. Keep turning. I'll call your rollout. Let's roll out right here. Good job. Bring a little bit of forward stick to stop this one. Forward stick. Right, you're doing pretty good. How you feeling? Doing great. I'm gonna change gas tanks real quick. Let's do another 90 degree right turn. Clear right. I want you to really concentrate on maintaining the bank angle you want, okay? okay. Look out front. Watch for trends of the horizon moving in relation to the nose. And peek at the altimeter to see how we're doing. Go and do a 90 degree left turn. We'll be south. The roll wings level right here. We're going to move on. We're going to stall the airplane, okay? Pull the, pull the throttle back for me. I'll tell you when to stop. Just bring that throttle back. We're going to go to 26 inches of manifold. Nice shot. Now just bring the nose up a little more for me. Hold this pitch attitude. And as the airplane decelerates, I just want you to get used to the airplane as it slows down. The back pressure required to hold the nose right here. Bring the nose up a few more degrees. Just keep squeezing back as required to hold this pitch attitude. Look outside to figure that out. Okay, Bring I'm going to keep it in the still on the climb. Too. Yep, I will go ahead and climb. The altitude's going to get to whatever it gets to. Okay. Just keep that ball center. Now notice at this point there's no real feel on the airplane, right? No bumping or anything. Yeah, just leave the throttle right here. We're going to slow down by climbing. Keep that ball centered for me. So just bring that right rudder in as required. Keep those wings level. Notice more back pressure is required to hold the nose up as we're slowing down, right? Right. But no real buffet on the airplane, right? We're down to 125. Right. Just keep squeezing back for me. A little more back pressure will slow down a little faster. Up to 10,000 feet, no issues. All kind of room underneath it. 110. Good job keeping those wings level. Great job on the ball. Let's keep that stuff in your cross check. Keep squeezing so she keeps slowing down on that airspeed. Keep bringing that stick back. There's 102. A little more back pressure. Keep her slowing down. Now, you might notice you get a little feel in the stick now. Can you feel that? Yeah, this is uh, a little a lot. Yeah. Now, keep her slowing down. We notice we're going to feel the seat start to shake a little, too. Maybe the floor is. Bring that left wing up just a little bit. Do you feel her talking to you a little more now? A little bit, yeah. Not a lot, though. Yeah. Hey, let's do an easy... Keep your airspeed right where it is. Let's do an easy right turn. I don't care about the altitude, just the airspeed. A little more right rudder, back pressure, I'm going to help you maintain your airspeed. 
and be helping on the back pressure. Back to zero pump for this floor. Okay, I'm helping you on the back pressure. The switch has got to stay back just a little bit. I'm going to stop helping. One, two, three, no help. Good job. Now let's reverse, maintain your airspeed. Let's reverse to a left turn. That'll work. Good job. Air still bumping a little more. We're, we're putting key on the airplane in the turn so it makes it heavier. Let's reverse, gently reverse to wings level, maintain your altitude. I'm going to help you on the back pressure, otherwise it's going to accelerate. We're going to do a straight ahead stall, okay? okay. Wings level, ball center, just slowly keep bringing the nose up. We're at 10,500, plenty of room, I'll coach you through the recovery. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing back, keep squeezing. All right, stick forward a little bit. Right stick, right pedal, level the wings. Roll, roll, roll. Now pull, pull hard, pull harder. Okay, good job, I got the airplane. Now, did you, could you feel it buffeting that second time? Yeah, I got the aircraft. Yeah, I did. Okay, well the second time it buffeted was at 140. So the first time it stalled was basically at 75 or so. Yeah. Then we almost stalled again at 140. Okay. So it really drives home the point that stall was all about the angle of attack. So we were pretty far over, we just we way left. All right, so then we, remember we got to roll wings level before we pull the nose up. That's why I was telling you roll. Okay. Don't be afraid to roll the airplane. Speaking of that, let's start going on to some aerobatics. All right, we're heading west right now. We're going to move on. Yeah, I, I'm still flying. I'm going to demonstrate a wing over there. You're going to do a couple. All right, so look straight ahead. We'll never bring the throttle up here. I'm going to do a wing over right. You're going to do one right and one left. So follow me through. We're looking straight ahead. Wings level, ball center, just like we talked about. A little bit of left pedal because we're going fast. Now this will be a wing over right, so we're going to bring the nose way up. And while we're still pulling back, we're going to back and right. We're going to roll her up on her side. Right rudder as required to keep the ball center. Look inside the turn to find the horizon. Okay, we're topping out at 10,120. Well above the one key stall speed. And now, we're going to roll wing level. You're going to do one to the left if you want. Your aircraft, look straight ahead. Wings level, pull the nose up for me. Wings level, here's wings level. Look straight ahead, pull the nose up. This will be a wing over left. Keep pulling, keep the nose way up. More back pressure. Now back and left. That's good right now. Back pressure off. Keep your feet squeezing. Keep your bank the same. Keep squeezing for me. Good job. Look down inside the turn. Let's roll wings level and ever so slowly relax your back pressure. Level those wings. Find the horizon. Level those wings. Cool. We need to drive. We're going to drive straight west for just a little bit here. Keep those wings level for me. We're, we're going west right now. Here, wings level. See that nose coming up because we're going so fast right now? How about a 90 degree right turn and we're going to do some wing over here? Put her up on her side a little. Put some more bank in there. Let's do another wing over and left. So roll wings level for me. Just relax your back pressure. Let the nose come down. Now you can start pushing the nose down a little bit too. A little more pressure, keep that nose down. Nose down, but keep those wings level though, look out. Here, I'm gonna help you, there's something else. Just wings level right here, okay? Wing over left, keep those wings level. I'm helping, pull the nose up, wings level, look out front. Keep pulling. Keep those wings level for now. Keep pulling. Now back and left, more back though. There you go. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing for me. Really good. Keep back, more back pressure. Okay, kind of look down inside the turn, but also find the horizon. 
Let's smoothly roll wings level. Ever so slowly, relax your back pressure. Find the horizon, make sure we're going wings level. With the wings level, let's pull the nose up for a wing over right. Look straight ahead for me. I'm going to help you on the left pedal. There's 260. Keep those wings level. Pull the nose up. I'll just, that's all we're doing for now. Wings level, nose up. Keep pulling, George. More back pressure. Now back and right. More back than right. Back and right. Now back pressure only. Keep squeezing. More back pressure. Keep squeezing while we're going up. A little more. Keep squeezing, buddy. Back six. Look down inside the turn. Find our reference, but find the horizon also. Smoothly roll wings level and relax that back pressure. Okay, I'm going to coach you through an aileron roll, okay? All right, look straight ahead for me. Pull the nose up. Keep those wings level, buddy. Pull that nose up. Wings level. See how that left wing goes down? Don't do that. Pull the nose up. Wings level. I'm helping. Relax all your back pressure. Pull left stick. All the way left. All the way left. Push it further left. There you go. Okay, leave the nose down. Now, George, concentrate on wings level. Find outside. Pull the nose up for me. We're going to do another aileron roll. Pull the nose up. Keep pulling. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Relax all your back pressure. Right aileron only. All the way around. Only right. Okay, buddy? Okay. Let's roll wings level for me here. I, I think you're looking inside. Everything inside is lying to you, okay? Bring that nose down. Let me help you. I'm going to help you. Bring the nose down. I'll, let me help, please. Up. There's, we need more nose down. We need 270. Nose down. Forward stick, buddy. Forward stick. We need more airspeed. More forward, buddy. We need about 270. More forward. Hold it forward. More air, more nose down. Looking out front, keeping the wings level. Let's pull the nose up. We're going to lose it. Six out. That's a good pull right there. Look out your left side. Squeeze it back. That's a good pull. 20th, 20th key right here. Look forward now. Hold what you got. Just hold what you got. Do not pull anymore. Now you can pull back some more. Pull on back. Look up, find the horizon, pull back to your wings up. Good job. Let's go west for a little bit. And this is west right here. Remember, your instruments back there are lying to you, okay? Not, I'm not looking at them. Okay, this is west. Hold this heading. I'm trying to use your head as a reference point. Wow. Okay, my head's not a good reference because I'm moving. Use something else, okay? Okay. And I've got the aircraft real quick. When ready, just put the clock pointing at Mustang, six copies off. The little witch's number two radio is not giving you much love right now. You might want to switch them. We'll be there, Charlie. I'm going to do a barrel roll left, and you're going to do one left, okay? okay. We're heading east right now. Follow me through. That's uh, a little better. It's still about three by stretch. Okay, so this will be a barrel roll left. We're heading north right now. Follow me through. That means light. Looking straight ahead, pulling the nose up, wings level. We're going to look 90 left. Now more back and left. Notice how we're turning. A little more left pedal, a little relaxed. There's our heading change. We're going to look back 90 left and find our ground reference. Now we're back here. You want to try one? Yeah, okay. Your aircraft. For now, look straight ahead. Wings level, pull the nose up. Pull harder if you would. Look at your left side now. Keep pulling. Okay. Back and left. Uh, or back. Or back. Six shots, you your way. Keep rolling until the wings are level. 
Hold the nose. A little more left shift. Look up, find the horizon. Hold the nose. Nice job. Cool. Let's climb up to about 7,500 feet, okay? That's a good pitch attitude right there. You can bring the nose down a few degrees to the climb. I'll help you out on the rudder. Down, we're getting kind of slow. Take a look at the ball back there. I'm going to take my foot off the right rudder. Pretty impressive, huh? There, I got the aircraft. The rejoin spot's right in front of us. Mustang 6500 just crossed 27, uh, lined up at the south shore here. Okay, they're out in front of us, 500 below. Well, I don't care. I need to do it, so help me look. No, we're above them. We keep the flicks until we see them. Six up at the southwest corner of Pier 7500 spot. And uh, I think they're in the south edge of Pier 7000. Right underneath us. Pier 11, 11 low. Okay. Left, uh, 10 o'clock low. Two the visual one. My tank 3 under 10, my tank 6 visual. You are clear to rejoin. Once the table is to the right hand turn. Tank south, west. Sure, you see him there in front of us? I do.
number two radio is still three by the bench. Number six, number one radio, switching back to two. Joint traffic, 11 o'clock high. One visual to traffic. Two visual. Mustang 3, Flight 2, down in 7. Mustang 3, Flight 2, thank you, see you in 10. Rolling up. Two of you are, clear to the door, close to tower 1. We'll do a cross under, we'll take some pictures underneath. Follow me through, I'm going to let you try here in a little bit. So take a look at his coolant and oil doors. See how closed up they are? Yeah. Oh, he's going nice and fast and everything's cool. See the tailwheel doors shut? Yep.
Back in his wings, he watches to come into fingertips. Four, I was left here. Cap 830, your choice, either left 360 or extend downward. Left 360, uh, Cap 830. Cap 830, Roger. Left 3, fly Cherokee traffic departing runway 33, your number one runway 33, clear to land. Second time. There you go. Two, 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 Romeo, stand by motor. 
Hi, Colton. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Catherine. Right there. Turn right onto Charlie and then hold short three three. This, this turn's too tight for normal steering. So notice I've got the uh, stick all the way forward. So we're coming around here with the tailwheel caster. Traffic canopy's coming up.